Hey, what's up guys? This is Devin with HDPiano.com and in today's lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at Here and Now, a beautiful piece by Luther Vandross featuring a stellar piano part. So I'll be showing you the intro and a bit of the verse in this video and it looks something like this. Here we go. One, two, three. Here's the verse. All right, so that's all we're gonna get through in this video, but it's a great start because the uh, four measures of the verse repeat numerous times throughout the piece. Um, but of course, the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can all be found over at hdpiano.com. So I hope to see you there after this. Now, before I dive in and show you just what's going on, I of course have a quick question, and I'm sorry it's a little personal, but tell me in the comments below, are you learning this for yourself because you just love the song, or do you have somebody special in mind that you are trying to impress? Let's open things up and talk about love. I played this one time at a Valentine's Day show, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it's certainly an emotional piece, so let's give it our best shot. We're in the key of G major. And it's a very, uh, you know, we have a lot of activity in the piano part. So I think what I'll do first is just give you a little context of the chords. Now, I would appreciate if you kind of follow along and just, just you know, with not to tempo or anything, but just, just for the sake of getting your footing and, and understanding the basic chords that we're going to be working with, just follow along. So, our first chord is actually C major. So, we start on the four chord, and then we go to kind of a D sus chord. And it's almost like that measure is a, this big pickup into what is essentially a two measure intro at this point. And we get to G, and then we have D over F sharp, G major, B minor seven, right? So you see this ascending pattern. We start down here, D over F sharp, G major, B minor seven, C, and then again, our familiar D sus chord, but up the octave from where we played it here. Right? So you have a little sense of direction here. We're starting nice and low. we end up up here. All right, so that is the kind of harmonic context for the intro. Now the verse simplifies a little bit, and we start with G major up here. We have a full measure of G major seven. Of course, there's lots of inner voice motion, which we'll get to in just a second. Then we have F sharp minor seven flat five. That leads right into a B seven with a flat nine, and an E minor seven follows that. That's called a two, five, one. Very common progression in jazz and R&B. Um, so that's the two chord, the five chord, and the one chord. If we, you know, think of E minor as the one chord that we're getting to, then we walk down to D, and then to C, and then to C over D. All right. So the majority of the chords fall into our G major scale with a few exceptions, such as that uh, B sharp, uh, sorry, B7 flat nine, we, we see a D sharp in there. But other than that, we're mostly working with key, uh, with notes from the G major scale. All right, so that's the little theory nugget up top, but let's dive into the nitty gritty. All right, what a sweet little motif there. G, F sharp, G. It's a little pickup on the and of three, four, and. And then on one, we land on our C chord. C and G in the left, D and E in the right. And oftentimes we play a chord, but our upper voices are going to continue on with a bit of a melody. So it looks like this. All right, so our rival point here is D, C in the left, D and G in the right. And what happened there was we walked our E up to F sharp, up to G, and then repeated G with the new chord. And then on four and, we play F sharp and G, which leads us into G major. So once, one more time, though, uh, that, that measure and a half, two, three. Three, four, and. All right, so on the downbeat of the next measure, our left hand plays G and D, 
and our right hand plays A, B, D, and then all together we land on a D over F sharp. So one and two and. That's F sharp in the left, A, D, F sharp in the right. And that's gonna step up to G major. So we keep our D in the middle here, but every other note walks up a step in the scale. So we have G, B, D, and G. And then we take that up to B minor seven. B in the left, F sharp, A, and D. Now check out the rhythm of that measure. One and two and three and four E and a. All right, so we have some extra syncopation um, in the fourth beat there. One and two and three and four E and a one. And then we land on our C chord just like we started, but up the octave. So we repeat the first measure of the intro, just up the octave. All right, so the whole intro looks like this. All right, great. So it's time to take a look at the verse. So we have a G in the left, just below middle C here. And in the right, we're gonna land on our um, G add nine. So that's A, B, D, and G. And we're kind of hitting the G ahead of time on the and of four of the previous measure. So we're really landing on the downbeat with three notes in the right and one note in the left. And we're gonna immediately go into the melody in the right hand, the melody of the piano part that is. All right, so the left hand is holding and the right hand plays B, D, A and F sharp, B and G, B, C. And we're into the next measure here. And the left hand's gonna to go to F sharp, but we'll get there in just a second. The rhythm here is one and two and three and four and one. All right, so we were skipping beat three and beat four, just playing the surrounding upbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. All right, so that next measure there, that's our F sharp minor seven chord with the flat five. And basically, we're just arpeggiating that voicing in the right hand, and the left hand is hanging out on F sharp. So we start on C, go down to E, A, C. And on that final C, we repeat our left hand. So one and two and three. Now we land on B7 flat nine. So we have a B in the left for a half note, beats three and four. Right hand plays the whole chord, and then just plays the thumb again. So that's F sharp, A, C natural, and D sharp. And then we repeat that thumb. So that whole measure, one and two and three, four. Great, so we've got two measures down and two more to go. Moving on, we have E minor seven to a D major chord. So for our E minor voicing, E in the left, D, G, and B in the right. And we start with a G and B, one, and then we come down and arpeggiate up. D, G, B. So actually, it's probably best to start with these two notes, uh, these two fingers here. Because we're gonna land on a D. So that's G and B, D, G, B, D. Okay. Left hand just holds an E. And then on the and of three, left hand goes down to D, Right hand plays F sharp and A, and on the end of four, we add a D in there, or we come down to a D. So that whole measure. And then we land nice and strong on the downbeat for a C add nine voicing, which we already know. And we're gonna just repeat the measure. This is the third time we've seen this phrase here. Right? ba ba da da ya da so that, uh, first we played it in that register, then we played it up there at the end of the intro, and now we're back to this register. All right, so the whole verse, um, or the, the entire four measures that we're working on, here we go. Two, nice and slow.
E minor 7 here, arpeggiate up, and our common motif. And you'll see there, I'm moving on into the verse a little bit, giving you a little taste. It's a lot of the same stuff, just down the octave. So those same changes will more or less apply for a lot of this. Um, but there you go. That should be a solid footing for this piece. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys out with one run through of everything we worked on um, a little closer to the recorded tempo. And then I hope to see you over at hdpiano.com for the rest. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, let me start. Let me just start over. <laughs> Here's the verse. All right, there you go, my friends. Great work, it's a beautiful piece, and I hope you feel like you're in good hands to learn it. So we'll be checking out the rest over at hdpiano.com, but if you don't mind, Please like and subscribe here on YouTube. And if you want to head over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can follow us on all of those platforms as well. And that way you'll be totally up to date on all of our latest tutorials. My name is Devin with HDPiano.com. Tune in up.